Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. After a year of absence, Exynos is back on the flagship Galaxy Sales line. A month ago, we got to know that this was only the first step towards total dominance, and one leaks to claim that all Galaxy S25 phones would use Exynos everywhere. However, a Digitimes post from today contradicts this. According to the report, Samsung will stick to its two-pronged strategy, using both Qualcomm and Samsung chipset, specifically the Snapdragon. Dragon 8 Gen 4 and Exynos 2500. However, the information does not specify where the dividing line will be drawn and it's likely to be the same as this year with the Galaxy S25 Ultra exclusively using the Snapdragon and the standard Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus receiving either the Snapdragon or the Exynos, depending on where you buy them. A month ago, a rumor claimed that the Galaxy C Foldable series would only use Snapdragon chip. However, another report suggested that the Galaxy C Flip 6 could use an Exynos 2400. If that is correct, it will be the first time an Exynos chip has been used in a foldable. We'll find out soon enough, as the C Flip 6, C Fold 6 and possibly Ultra and FA models are expected to be unveiled in time for the Olympics. And if Samsung believes enough in the Exynos line to use it in its expensive flip foldable, which is small, making it difficult to cool, and has a small-ish battery, it will undoubtedly believe enough in it to let the Exynos 2500 power at least the standard Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. The Exynos 2500 is expected to provide additional optimizations and power efficiency improvements over the current 2400, and in addition, the the S25 series will see some changes as well. In addition to that piece of news, a model called SMF958 has surfaced in South Korea, prompting speculation that it is the anticipated Ultra C Fold device. The assumptions are based on Samsung nomenclature. Well, the Galaxy C Fold 5 is the SM9446, while the C Fold 4 was the SM936, so we expect the Galaxy C Fold 6 to be the SM956. The Galaxy's 24 Ultra is codenamed SM928. So using this logic, we're assuming that regular phones end on a 6, whereas Ultra phones end on an 8. Unfortunately, this is the only information we have right now. According to the report source, the device may only be available in South Korea, which is hard to believe in given Samsung's usual approach. We'd expect the company to ship any of its Ultra phones worldwide. Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy C Fold 6, as well as the C Flip 6 and Galaxy Ring in July, and according to the early red the Galaxy C Fold 6 will look very similar to the current model. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.